hi guys you are welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is abby sodo and you are welcome to meals with abby on this video today i'll be sharing 10 kitchen items that i think are essential to have in your kitchen or you're a student and you're living alone you want to know what items to have in your kitchen and all of that stuff if this is something you're interested in then keep watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video share and leave a comment in the comment section now let's get straight into this video the first essential kitchen item is going to be the pots and the pans now i'll be sharing three major kinds of pots and pans that you need in your kitchen you need one for boiling you need one for stirring and then you need one for frying so for the first one for boiling it's usually a big um size pot that has handles on the side it has depth it's good for boiling you can easily stir and it's going to take you know good amount of liquid this is the one you use for your rice you use for your beans for your porridge for boiling your um your turkey for your stock for your broth you know all of that and this is what the big boiling pot is used for now the second type of pot you need in your kitchen is the saucepan this is perfect for stirring. You're making your sauces, you're making your noodles, you want to make a quick pasta. And most times, it usually has a long handle that you use to hold it. The third kind of pan you're going to need is the frying pan. Of course, you're going to use your frying pan to make plantain, to fry egg, to fry your chicken, to fry your, um, to make your crepes, to make your stir fries. There's so much you can do with your frying pan. Now, if you have these three kinds of pan and pot then you're good to go the next kitchen item that you need are bowls there are so many kinds of bowls glass bowls plastic bowls ceramic bowls and so many kind of bowls now you need bowls for mixing for washing and for storing i'm going to be showing you the kinds of bowls that you need you need one for mixing and for washing now for washing your vegetables for washing your rice for washing your your um, fresh produce and all of that you need a bowl mixing your butter if you want to bake or you're trying to mix up something your pepper whatever it is you want to mix you're going to need a bowl for that and also you will need bowls for storing you almost can't help having leftovers and you will not want to put your whole pot or your whole saucepan into the refrigerator that is a no-no so what you need to do is get storage bowls in different sizes and portions and then you can push your leftovers put them in that and throw them in the free in the fridge or in the freezer you can either choose to have plastic bowls you can choose to have glass bowls or you can choose to have ceramic bowls now please do not go overboard with those bowls because at the end of the day it's just going to cause cluster in the kitchen and we do not want to have cluster in our kitchen right the number three item on our kitchen essential list is chopping boards like the name says you need this to chop so many things you're cutting your fish you're cutting your meat you're cutting your vegetables you're cutting your pepper there's just so many things that you need a chopping board for there are different kind of chopping boards there's wooden chopping board there's plastic there's glass personally i do not like glass chopping boards because you have to be very careful and sometimes in the kitchen you need to use <laughs> force so at the end of the day they end up breaking if you can afford it i would advise that you get two chopping boards one for chopping your fresh produce so that's your meat your fish your chicken you know to put your prawns and whatever it is you want to cut that is fresh you're going to cut on that and then the other ones are for your vegetables and your and your onions and your pepper and all of that but if you cannot afford it ensure that you always wash your chopping board properly if you have one ensure that you wash it properly and then you disinfect with either vinegar or lemon or salt the number four item on this list is going to be the only gadgets that will be on this list and that's your blender or chopper i'm going to categorize this together because you can get either of them depending on what you feel you'll be using them for majorly if you're someone who doesn't you know do a lot of cooking a mini chopper can work for you but if you're someone who does quite a number of cooking then you will need a blender you need a blender to blend your pepper you need a blender to blend your fruit sometimes your beans number five on my list are knives you need knives for chopping you need them for slicing you need them for cutting and there are different kinds of knives out there but the ones that i feel are essentials the paring knife the utility knife slicing knife so these have different 
uses and all of them are essential to have in the kitchen talking about knives the number six on this list is cooking spoons you already have your um, pot you already have your frying pans you have your knives you know we need a cooking spoon there's no way you're going to stay or cook without a cooking spoon and there are various kinds of um, cooking spoons there are wooden cooking spoons there's silicone plastic there's so many kinds of spoon number seven on this list is going to be strainer or colander if you like to call it that and this just helps you drain out water from anything that you're washing you need a strainer if you're washing your rice your pepper your vegetables you need those waters out of it and it's going to be a whole lot of work to get them out without having a strainer number eight on this list is going to be a hand whisk or an electrical hand mixer if you're someone who likes to bake you definitely will need a whisk either the hand um, mixer that is electrical or the manual whisk whichever one you can afford but both of them are good if you're going to make your cakes and you want to prepare your butter you need those if you're whisking your eggs you need a whisk so for the baking aspect of the kitchen you definitely need a hand mixer or a whisk still on the matter of baking number nine item that you need to have in your kitchen measuring spoons or measuring cups if you're someone who bakes a lot if you're someone who follows recipes you will need a measuring spoon because like the name says it helps you measure you can't just take a bowl a um, mixing bowl and just pour everything in it no your baking or your whatever it is you're making is not going to come out nice so you need a measuring spoon or a measuring cup to help you measure these items so that your cooking is going to come out just right if you can get your hands on the ones that have the measurements inscribed either in ml or in cups they usually have one cup half a cup one teaspoon and all of that or they come in mls these are the kinds of spoons or cups that you want to look out for and now to number 10 on our list is a spatula a spatula is what helps you to get to the corners and the edges of your bowl or your pot if you're mixing or you're um, trying to bake or you're making your porridge you need something that gets the edge to all the edges and do not leave residues at the edges that's why you need a spatula the the straight mouth is going to help you get to every corner of your bowl in any shape that the bowl is is going to get to that corner and bring it out so that's why you need a spatula in your kitchen so guys we have come to the end of this video and i hope that you enjoyed watching this of course there are so many kitchen essentials that we have and there are also so many gadgets that we would love to have in our kitchen there are so many pots so many pans so many gadgets that we would love to have but these 10 are essentials to start up a kitchen or if you're on a budget and with these trust me you are good to go in your kitchen there's practically nothing that you cannot make with all these that i've already listed guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button leave a comment in the comment section let me know what kitchen items you feel are essential to have in your kitchen also let me know in the comment section which kitchen item is your favorite and i'll see you guys in my next video